Do you belong to a seniors organization? Have you ever considered joining one? We're going to talk about senior organizations today and uh, compare uh, six of them to see uh, what value they might have for us. Uh, welcome to Seniors in Action. I'm Michael Scott. I'm your um, host today. I am a senior citizen and uh, I try to be active, so I am a senior in, a senior in action. Uh, I'm a CPA. I've been a CPA for 45 years and uh, uh, very active also in uh, sports, basketball, um, bowling, um, you name it, backpacking, hiking, fishing, hunting. I like them all and uh, I also enjoy writing and painting and so I've been a very busy senior uh, and a very busy person all my life and so I've learned a lot about uh, different things but today we're talking about these uh, senior organizations and I have to admit I do not right now belong to a senior organization. I did at one time uh, belong to ARP, but um, I do not anymore. Now, let me uh, point out to you that we have a bonus for you today. It's a free uh, session with a life coach. And so you can see that on the front page here as we go along into this um, video. There, We'll talk more about it. You can also see my picture of younger Michael up in the uh, left-hand corner of the screen and older Michael down in the right hand corner of the screen talking to you. So uh, like I say, it's good to be with you. Uh, stay tuned um, and uh, we'll uh, study these senior organizations. All right, the first, uh, first thing we need to go over is the senior organizations that we're going to study. The American Association of Retired Persons, uh, they've changed their name now to just ARP. And um, then we've got AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens. We've got ASA, the American Seniors Association. We've got CAP, Christ Above Politics. And then we've got TSC, the Senior Coalition. And then the 60 Plus Association. Those are the ones that I could find. There was actually one more that I was looking for and I couldn't really find anything on it. So I don't know if they've uh, gone defunct or uh, what the situation might be, but we're gonna compare these. So uh, look at this uh, Look at this comparison that I've got. It's a table and uh, talks about, first of all, the cost per year for each of these organizations. Each of them has an annual cost. They've also got a three-year cost and a sometimes a five-year cost and a lifetime cost. And those are cheaper per year if you'll uh, uh, invest in one of those. But the cost per year is about the same for every one of them. You'll see ARP $16 per year. It's got an asterisk by it uh, because ARP is right now, it's $12 a year because they're offering 25% off on, on new memberships. <clears throat> so ARP is actually $12 a year right now. And then um, the American Seniors Association, $15. And um, CAP is $15. And then TSC is actually $10, but if uh, that's just for a single person. If you want the couple, it's $13 a year. And then, of course, 60 plus, there's uh, no fee on 60 plus. Now, each one of these have dis discount programs um, except for 60s plus. And 60s plus is just a uh, basically a um, political advocate. Uh, the discount program for TSC is uh, fairly limited, uh, but they do have one. So be aware of that. Uh, they all have insurance programs. Uh, and again, TSCs is fairly, fairly limited. Uh, ARPS is probably the most exhausted, but uh, what you see with ARP is uh, all these companies have uh, used ARP as a sponsor for their programs and, and trying to get uh, more, more seniors involved. And so I'm not sure that ARP's not getting some kind of kickback on all of these insurance programs that they've got. So uh, um, I would be aware of that. Uh, AMAC doesn't seem to be uh, doing, the, doing it the same way, uh, either does uh, ASA or um, CAP. So, And you'll find with CAP that their insurance programs, uh, they also offer some uh, Christian programs for uh, insurance as well. So uh, um, that is something that uh, if you're inclined to go with a Christian program, that uh, might be very good for you. Political advocacy, um, all of them do except for CAP. I've got yes here on CAP. but. Um, uh, they use they don't they advertise that they don't but they do uh, they do push uh, Christian causes and stuff and so but from that um, that standpoint uh, they do have an advocacy so I put yes on there. Now the other thing is uh, uh, the magazine you're all familiar probably with the art magazine uh, AMAC has one um, 
ASA does not have one, but they have a newsletter, and um, uh, so, you know, the newsletter may be as good as a magazine. Uh, CAP uh, actually does not have their own magazine or newsletter, as far as I know, but they do recommend and give discounts on uh, three Christian magazines on their website. And then uh, TSC does have a newsletter, or at least they say they have a newsletter, but when I check their website, they don't have any newsletters that are um, since 2017 on their website, so I'm not sure if they're still publishing that uh, newsletter or not. Uh, 60 Plus does not have a newsletter and it does not have a magazine. As far as your membership availability, it's 50 years old for almost everything but uh, 60 Plus, which is 60. And then TSC is any age. You can join at any age at TSC. So those are some comparisons on um, things that you might uh, want to know about these particular programs. I also want to talk about their mission statements a little bit and the difference in mission statements. So uh, let's go ahead and look at ARP's mission statement. And really all they say is ARP's mission is to empower people, not seniors, but people to choose how they live as they age. So that could apply to everybody. So even though ARP um, uh, used to be for retired people uh, and still is to some extent, I think that um, uh, that's not their mission evidently anymore. They've got a very short mission statement and it does not uh, include a lot in it. So it, uh, it leaves a lot to uh, wonder about. <clears throat> Now, AMAC, on the other hand, defines their mission statement very carefully. I mean, they don't mention seniors in it either. They do mention mature individuals in their name, but uh, very constitutionally oriented um, and very military oriented, so, uh, and anti-big government, and they actually tell you that right on their website, okay? Uh, the American Seniors Association, pretty much the same way. They're a conservative organization, and they are representing seniors. They do mention that, uh, and um, uh, they are trying to uh, get laws that, uh, that follow the Constitution with small government as well. So Christ Above Politics is a little bit different than the other organizations. It's kind of, a, kind of an interesting organization because it uh, does follow the uh, um, teachings of Jesus Christ, and so uh, they're proud of being from the state of Texas. You can see that in their purpose and their direction. They are a re religious organization. And actually they have a, when you sign on with, uh, with them, I mean, there's kind of a, uh, a membership, um, membership guidelines that you have to agree to, basically. And, uh, and basically some of those uh, guidelines say that you're, gonna, you're a follower of Jesus Christ or you believe in these things. Um, like I say, they do not lobby, they do not pay political uh, politicians or anything, but um, um, as far as uh, advocacy goes, they certainly do have, uh, have an advocate uh, action for Christ and his teachings. So if you're inclined to that, uh, that, that would be your organization. Now, uh, the Seniors Coalition, um, I couldn't, I couldn't get their logo off their website, and so you see I've got an apology down here because I was unable to get their logo. They have a logo, but it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't come off nearly as easy as the others. So uh, They were founded uh, in 1990, uh, particularly to uh, um, argue against a particular piece of legislation that was being passed back then, and they're still, they're still here. So they've uh, got a big following, they say four million supporters and uh, in every state of the union. So uh, they run a little bit uh, more streamlined than some of the other organizations. So uh, if you look at their website, it's not quite as fancy as some of the other websites and stuff. So, uh, but a good organization, certainly a political organization. And uh, if you're the, inclined to be active in politics, that's a good consideration as well. So those are the mission statements, except for 60 plus. 60 plus has a motto, uh, giving seniors a voice. And so they, in their mission statement, certainly say mention seniors, and uh, they are ad ad advocates for seniors, um, especially with Medicare and Social Security and uh, the Constitution. So uh, 
that is something to take into account. So let's look at some of the interesting facts about some of these organizations. You know, ARP stance uh, over the last 10 or 15 years has been very liberal to some extent, and they, they sided with uh, quite a few uh, laws that would uh, favor big government and stuff. And so uh, among those laws was uh, Obamacare, and as a result of their stance with Obamacare, they lost 300,000 members uh, over that stance with Obamacare. Um, so AMAC uh, and some of these other organizations really benefited from uh, ARP's stance on that particular subject. And if you look at these things, there's, there's six, six organizations here. One, of course, is ARP, so that leaves five left. Four of these organizations mention that they're an alternative to ARP, that they're, they're a conservative alternative to ARP and, uh, or a non-political alternative to ARP. So if you look at AMAC they, uh, AMAC, they tout the fact that they are a conservative organization. Um, ASA also touts that and, and says they're a conservative uh, alternative to ARP. CAP basically says that they are a non-political alternative to ARP. And then TSC basically does not compare themselves to ARP at all. Um, and then you get to the last one, 60 plus, that touts themselves as an alternative to ARP as well. So a lot of, a lot of disfavor uh, in people that are not very happy with uh, some of the decisions that ARP has made in the past. And of course, ARP is the biggest organization in the country, and uh, has uh, you know it's uh, it's got more power than any of the other organizations. It's the big guy in the block, and certainly the one they want to try to knock off. So, ARP does a lot of good, I'm sure, but um, these other organizations all benefited from some of ARP's stances. Now, TSC is very interesting because they. They don't have a big organization. They're, uh, they've got a part-time board, and the, their board members don't receive any pay, and so they uh, they run uh, pretty light. And certainly, um, 60 plus is going to do that because they don't even collect membership fees. They just ask for donations. So, when you're looking at uh, these organizations, this gives you some information that uh, you might uh, find interesting in order to judge which organization that. Uh, that you uh, want to be part of. So now, remember what I said I had a bonus for you. Uh, send me an email at michael at bscottcpa.com requesting your free coaching session and I'll uh, pass it on to Bonnie who is the life coach and she'll contact you. She's, uh, she specializes in coaching parents with older children and grandchildren and uh, she is also a CPA, so she specializes in small business coaching and helping small businesses uh, run efficiently and helping their owners uh, get on top of any problems that they might have. So get your free life coaching session and by just emailing me at that number, uh, that address, and I will get back to you. In conclusion, you've got some facts. Make your decision. Uh, you can either join one of these organizations or join several of them or not join any of them at all. But um, um, I want to thank you for subscribing, uh, especially um, those that have been subscribers for quite a while. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the button in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. It's right down there by my face. So you could, it's almost like slugging me. So. Uh, uh, that's the conclusion, and uh, hope you have a good day. Thank you. I need to remind you that we uh, do get a commission from uh, affiliates. Uh, if you go to the description area of this video after you watch it and click on one of the links, uh, there is a link, for example, to Amazon. If you go to Amazon and buy something, we get a commission for that, and that is... Um, our legal responsibility to uh, disclose that to you.